Welcome to the CompTIA Network Plus N10008 practice exam. In this video, we will walk you through some simple questions and provide you with tips and tricks to help you succeed on the exam. Whether you are new to the networking or looking to expand your knowledge, this video will help you feel more confident and prepare for the CompTIA Network N10008 exam. All right, once again, Network Plus N10008. Um, we are still working on uh, Domain 1.0 Networking Fundamentals which makes up 24% of the exam. And don't forget guys, passing score is 720 on a scale of uh, 100 to 900. And uh, the objectives that we are working on is uh, 1.5, explain common ports and protocols, the application and encrypted alternatives. Okay, so let's get started with the first question. Number one, what is the port and protocol used by Syslog? Choose two, A, TCP, B, UDP, C, 148, D, 514, or E, 240. Correct answers are UDP and 514 as port number. Syslog produces machine data that you can use to monitor and understand the state of services on a device. Syslog runs on UDP port 514. Question 2. What protocol do ping and trace route use in their operations? A. IPsec, B. DNS, C. ICMP, or D. GSCP? Correct answer is C. ICMP. ICMP is used by many troubleshooting and monitors tools. Ping and trace route are two such ICMP based utilities. Question 3. Which incoming email protocols are encrypted and secure because they use SSL TLS sessions? Choose two. A. POP3 over SSL. B. IMAP S. C. SMTP. Or D. POP. Core answers are POP3 over SSL and IMAP S. Using POP3 over SSL port 995 uh, or IMAP S port 993 allows the incoming data from the client to be encrypted because sample mail transfer protocol SMTP port 25 is for outgoing email. Answer D is incorrect because one of the biggest security issues with POP and IMAP as well is that login credentials are transmitted in plain text and unencrypted connections. Question 4. You need to establish an authenticated uh, and encrypted connections between a client and a host name system, what should you use? A. Telnet, B. SSH, C. LDAP, or D. LDAP S. Correct answer is B. SSH. Secure Shell SSH establishes a session between the client and host computers using an authenticated and encrypted connection over port 22. SSH requires encryption of all data, including the login portion. Enter A is incorrect because SSH is the secure replacement for Telnet. Using Telnet is ill-advised because a Telnet session is not encrypted. Answers C and D are incorrect. Lightweight directory access protocol, LDAP, is a directory services protocol for use on IP networks. By default, LDAP traffic is unsecured. LDAP over SSL LDAP S is a method to secure LDAP by enabling connection over SSL TLS. Thank you for watching the CompTIA N10008 practice exam. We hope you found it informative and useful in your exam preparation. If you want to see more content like this, Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.